Good morning, y'all. I'm on my way. I just finished dropping in. Chillin's off as you. And I was listening to the radio. And I'm all like... I be listening to the radio because they be having a tea in the morning. <laughs> so I'm listening to Ricky Smiley. And they all shouting out the fraternities and shit and the sororities and I'm just like ugh throw up ugh disgusting do y'all know the truth about these fraternities and these sororities and what they be doing behind the scenes like especially in the black ones the black males uh, fraternities they fucking disgusting so it was just like ew, gross like Y'all really be bending over, taking it to be in these fraternities and shit. Um, so that you can have so-called privilege or whatever. It's fucking disgusting. It's fucking disgusting, man. I know y'all seen them videos floating around on the internet a couple years ago about them damn fraternities all in the, in the, the men all up in the room in the room then they had basically naked or pants down and shit like yeah these niggas ain't right that's somebody else i don't fuck with me if a nigga told me he was in the fraternity i don't fuck with them either like i just don't because i already know what goes on behind the scenes these niggas get branded like they fucking uh, cattle and shit like, get the fuck out of here. I would never. I would never. Like, I wish I can't. I would be single for the rest of my life if I before I deal with a man who was fucking in the sorority. Even the white ones. I don't want no man that was in the fucking fraternity. It's another cult. It's another cult. And they be having to do some weird shit for some change just to be in it, to stay in it, and to stay in the privilege and everything. Like, it's, it's fucking disgusting. It's so disgusting and ridiculous. And most, I don't know, uh, 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 I don't know what, what sane person would sign up for some shit like that to, to, to be in a cult and have to line up in a line and get branded like you fucking cattle and shit. Like, niggas is really out here joining fraternities and shit and you get branded like i i don't even care about the politics and the bullshit but nigga you're not about to brand me you ain't about to brand me you're not about to take no hot heated nothing and put it to my skin and so that i can have that permanent shit for the rest of my life what the fuck is wrong with niggas like what the fuck is wrong like my common sense wouldn't allow me to do nothing like that like i what so I can belong to some shit. So I can be cattle. So I can be told what to do. It's asinine. This shit is asinine to me. Like, I just can't. I would never. I would never. Ugh. It's so disgusting the things that people do just to be just to be a part of something. Especially black people. They don't have no fucking now. Black men, they don't have no goddamn uh they don't have no, um, I don't think no cars right here on this lane. On my way back home, I'm ready to go take my ass to sleep. So I was up researching last night. Oh, let me talk about that real fast, because I ain't really come on, I mean, I, I did really come on here to say what I said, but um, I want to say more. Um, because I was doing some research. So, y'all remember when I was talking about in the video the other day? that I did uh I just wanted to know why and what happened to the ancestors and what really happened with the real truths. So y'all know the universe responded right and sent me a video and my recommendation from um damn I don't know his channel name but I'm gonna put it in the description um when I remember your um then I'm at the red light cause yeah um yeah, so it's basically what I say. It's basically what I say, y'all. You know that's crazy because my common sense and me just being on this earth for as long as I've been here just had me like saying what I said in the video the other day, and then I watch this. Uh, and this this boy, this boy here. Yeah. I told y'all I only watch uh, 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 men when they're using their creativity, and this man here. 
he compiled some i don't know where he getting his books from but these books are old they from the 1800s 1600s 1700s he got access to these damn books i want them i want to find out how he got access to it so that i can get access to that shit y'all because he was really breaking that shit down like i'm telling you and he was saying like yeah um in the books not him but in the books it was just pretty much saying like yeah you know that tribes was looking out for each other they fucking made deals with the colonists it still left me a little confused because i still was just like why though like i still was just like why i'm park par got parallel park y'all you know <laughs> hold on Sorry. It just really, uh, I still had questions even after watching it. But he got over 200 videos. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and delve deep and binge watch. And, um, do some research on them books he got. And check that shit out. Because last night I fell asleep and I'm going to start watching it today. I'm going to rewatch it today. He's talking about the North Carolina Indians and the Virginia Indians and shit. And the books is really touching on that shit so but i mean so far yeah they made deals a lot of the tribes members fighting each other they made deals with the colonists to keep their part of the land which still ended up getting snatched away or whatever i it, it i understand the paper genocide of it all i just don't understand how they were able to do it though it still was just like even though the colonists was coming here and shit, like, how was they allowed to come here and build on the land? Like, when the first colonists touched on whatever piece they touched on first, who was like, yeah, come on, you can, come on, sit down. First of all, how did they even know what each other was saying? That's first and foremost. I ain't get to that yet in the videos I'm watching. Hopefully it's in these books, but how, how? How did they understand what each other was saying? That's one. That's one. Because these people supposedly spoke different languages. So how did they communicate with each other? That's one. And the colonists got off the boat, landed in Virginia or wherever they landed at. Allegedly, they landed in um, Virginia. The first peoples landed in Virginia, allegedly. Um... So, what, they just showed up on the land and just was like, yeah, um, fuck y'all, I'm a bill, like, and when they came in at any, any place on the East Coast, it was people there, so I'm, for, for thousands of years, so I'm really, it's, it's really, it's still not making sense, it's still not making sense, so you mean to tell me my ancestors just listened to paperwork? We just signed treaties and listened to it, even though we knew that the the people colonists, because we're not gonna call them the white man, because uh, <laughs> it was not only white people coming here; it was black people coming here from overseas too. That's what they don't talk about. But yeah, it still left me confused though, because okay, like like for like man, for instance, for now. These motherfuckers coming from overseas, they just can't come over here and build. So that's why it don't make sense. They got to do all types of shit before they can do any type of building in America. Like, this is period. So, how the fuck did they get permission to build on the lands? How did they speak to people who they supposedly had no idea the language? Can somebody answer that? Can somebody tell me that? I'm going to still watch. This man got over 200 videos. I'm just delving into it. I'm going to get into it because, like I said, I'm going to find out them books he got because I want them. And I'm hoping that me watching this North Carolina and Virginia because that's where my ancestors supposedly started at. So if the North Carolina and Virginia Indians that I'm uh, watching, reading about, 
I'm gonna need to delve a little bit more deeper because even what I watched to him so far, I've only watched about five or six videos so far. It, it the answer's not in there yet. So like I said, he got a lot, so I'm gonna get into it. But it did help explain like who was here at the time, who was in the, who was in North Carolina, what the colonists was doing, what was going on, and like I said. The Tuscarora tribe was linked up with the colonists. The Chihuahuan tribe was linked up with the colonists. And then they was warning for each other and promised that or had paperwork that if you help me against this other Indian tribe, then you get to keep your land or you get to keep your land and your whatever's on the land and shit like that. You get to keep all that, but just come help me fight your your brothers and them. Help me, come help me fight your brothers and them. And then I'll give you, how was they able to do that? They did not own the fucking land that was here. So how the hell can they come here and say, negotiate our lands for us? It don't make sense. Like I said in my last video, the the Napoleon had a piece. The French, the the uh, I'm not here. He was French. The Spanish had a piece. The 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 UK. I mean the Europeans had a piece. The Asians had a piece. How? How was that? You mean to tell me they came over here with paperwork? They came over here with paperwork and, and said sign this and sign that, and it just happened. Come on, come on. Somebody make it make sense, because it don't make sense. Thank you, Universe, for sending me that video, but it still don't make sense. I need to know. How? We you know if, if the so-called man of color was here, and we're the so-called first peoples, and all of this shit that they like to say about black people, that I, I, it don't make sense. Because if that was the case, we would not be in the bottom of the bottoms. How the fuck we came from kings and queens and dynasties and shit, and now we don't have shit. We don't own shit. We don't have no property. We don't have no fucking b uh, land. We don't have no goddamn buildings. We don't have no schools. We don't have nothing. How did it happen? Because right now in America, you can't just come over here and just build. You can't just come over here and claim a territory is yours. The military will be at your ass so fast, nigga, they be sending you back where you came from. So you mean to tell me that the military and shit or whoever we had here protecting ourselves and our lands, they ain't do nothing? You mean to tell me all of these tribes that was in the United States ain't come together against the colonists and say, fuck that. I want to know. I want to know this shit before I leave this fucking realm. I want to know. How? If America is Egypt and all of this shit is what y'all saying is true. But what you're telling me is that paperwork and a couple of some, they was fighting some wars and shit. Stopped us from getting with the stop us from having what the fuck we had for 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 centuries. We had this land for centuries before the so-called colonists came over here saying what they gonna take. Like it, it, it don't make sense. I'm so tired of it. It don't make sense. I want the fucking truth. You know, fucking paper genocide. Can you I, I, if that's true, if that's true, if paper genocide and all of this paperwork and them and them allowing them to change our race on paperwork and, and shit, then we were some bitches. Our ancestors were some straight bitches. That let these colonists come over here, whether they was black or whatever color they was. Cause they was the same. They looked at they looked at a little bit like us. So we just was like, oh yeah. Even though the Hopi tribe had uh 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 had um 
predictions that this was going to happen. And I'm sure they wasn't the only tribe that had predictions that this shit was, or have uh, sins or channelings that this shit was going to happen. So if y'all have, that's just like me having a dream. Matter of fact, no, 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 no. I'm going to tell y'all, I, I was going to go fucking deliver for Domino's right during the COVID because I wasn't driving the school bus. I was going to go deliver for Domino's, right? So I applied to the one in my neighborhood, right? <clears throat> And when I, 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 the interview came up, I'm going to tell you how the universe was like, you don't belong there. The fucking, um, uh, um, the people called me and was like, oh, we need to reschedule because we had a water main break. They wanted to reschedule me for a downtown location. I said, no, I can't go down there. So I ended up missing the interview. I had a dream that same day in the daytime that I was getting robbed because I worked at that location. You know what I did? You know what I did? You know what I did? I switched locations. Because that's what my fucking dream and my intuition told me. So you mean to tell me that these Indians, our ancestors, had fucking, uh, 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 we could see, we could channel, we had all of these powers, but we couldn't have no powers against the colonists that came over here. It don't make sense. Because of paperwork genocide and warring against each other. I don't care if we was warring against each other. We still let them take our shit because of that. Because they couldn't come together. It sounded like the story from Africa. It sounded like the same story from Africa. The same story from South America. Oh, these tribes of people just couldn't come together as one to, to, to keep their land, to keep their territory. It was so many languages spoke. And all of, everybody speaking all of these different languages. Nobody but the colonizer came up with speaking a, a language that everybody can understand oh the colonizer came and said he was the one or she was the one or whatever that that established uh uh uh, uh all of this shit that we got now all right get out my car because every time i watch something that's relative to our so-called america history it just make us seem more like some bitches. It just make us seem more like we just gave in and just gave up. We just gave in and gave up. That's how it seemed like to me. It seemed like wherever the colonizers went, we warred with them for, for, for however many years, and they still won. Even though these motherfuckers was dying before they was 30, because of their diseases and shit they supposedly had overseas. I, the fact that I know history and the fact that um, I've been studying history since I was a child. Reading the Encyclopedia Britannica and shit. It's still the same rhetoric. No matter how it's told, it still makes our ancestors seem like some bitch ass motherfuckers that just gave up because look at the condition of our people so who made the laws who said this and that da, 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 da. who I, matter of fact I don't give a fuck who made the laws because people break laws all the time people break laws all the time I was listening to his video and he was talking about how um our ancestors was burning down their um, establishments and shit. Well, we should have kept burning that shit down. They should have never been able to do what the fuck they did here. They should have never been able to do that. But for some reason, our ancestors of great were so great. We were so great. And for thousands of years, we ruled kingdoms and we had this and that. I don't believe that shit. Because we ain't ruling nothing now. Niggas got a whole continent that they not in control of. So I'm not even trying to hear that shit. That shit don't make sense. I don't keep hearing. Yeah, we didn't have, we had establishments here. We had, we had, we had, had is a past tense word. We had, we had, we had this, we had that, we had this, we had that. Okay, so we had all of this shit. How did the colonizer?
because it's black and white because I'm almost black. Come over here and take our land. Because that's what they did. I don't care how they did it. They did it. I don't care if it was paper genocide. It was allowed. I don't care if they went to war with us. It was allowed. We gave up. It was allowed. Our own people were selling our own land according to this documentary for fucking cheap ass 15 euros. They selling acres of land for 15 to 20 euros. But that was allowed though. All of this shit that was done was allowed. No matter what the pushback was, it was still happening and it was still and it's it, it, it they let it happen. Every time I go and I watch my video about the greatness of black people, I be like, they let it happen, though. To the downfall, they let it happen, though. How does a minority of people control the majority? How? To that degree. How do they control people to that degree that you don't even have control of your own land? <clears throat> How the fuck was France and Europe and I mean France is in Europe. <laughs> How was they able to come over here and slice up our land and take pieces of it and say this mine, this mine, this mine? No matter if people is right there, that's still mine. And you're going to pay me taxes. That story ain't come out yet. That's the story I want to know. I don't care about what we had because we no longer have it. I want to know how the fuck our ancestors gave that shit the fuck up. Just like when I was listening to him last night and he was talking about how our ancestors were selling our land to the colonists for $15 and shit like that, right? And I put, he's saying, oh, the, look what they did. He's still blaming they. Look what they, not the ancestors. He's blaming the colonists that came in here and so-called forced our ancestors to pay them money. No. No. It don't make sense that some foreign-ass motherfucker can come over here. They knew how to tend to our lands. They knew how to farm. Our lands, and they never even lived here. But that boy in that video, because he's a man, he wouldn't even recognize the fact that the, the Indians is to blame. Not the colonists, because the colonists couldn't do nothing without the Indians or the natives letting them do it. They let them do that shit. They couldn't do shit. How do foreign people come to a land and take over? You already know all the history, paperwork, genocide, wars, blah, 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 blah. I'm not trying to hear that shit. I'm not trying to hear it because that's bullshit. It's bullshit that you come on to a continent filled with millions of people. There were millions of people here for centuries. They knew we was over here. They ain't just discover us in the, in the, in what the fuck, Columbus came 1492. They ain't just discover us in the 1400s. They been knew we was over here. They been knew. So ain't nobody trying to hear that shit. Nobody trying to hear that shit. Tell me how, okay, if the ancestors were selling our land to the colonists, okay. Yeah, I believe that, though. Because they were black. All of, the, all of the characters in this book that this man is referencing when he's doing his video all were men. Let me just point that out. They all were men. They all were men, and they all had last names of, 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 um... Like Moors and shit like that. Moors, Hebrews. They had those type of last names. So was they really our people though? The whole shit gets confusing after that. It gets confusing. So it's just like... Bruh. Can, I, can we finally get the truth? 
Can we finally, can y'all tell the truth of how our ancestors really did, what they really did, and how they really allowed these people to come over here and take our land? That's what I want the truth of because that's obviously what happened. I just want to know how. That's obviously what happened. The men of the tribes gave away the land, sold the land for cheap. But why? What was the incentive to come up off of your throne? Because supposedly we was on thrones over here. What happened to make you come up off your throne? That's what I want to know. What made you just get up off your throne and give these people this land for damn near nothing? Because even though we was warring and shit, we, it's, we, it was millions of us over here. Millions. Before colonization, before the Atlantic, whatever the fuck the Atlantic slave trade but it ain't happened the way that they telling us it happened but before all of that we was here for thousands for, for centuries there were people here for centuries each continent was populated for centuries there wasn't just one continent that was populated and then everybody came and, I mean and then they and then they all spread it out no the most high whatever the universe put people on each continent so we were all on different continents before they started exploring and doing all of this shit so it was already people on all on all the continents i don't believe that white people was genetically made i don't believe that i believe that the most high created everybody so i don't believe that shit i believe that's another black man's tactic to try to make you believe his bullshit so i don't believe that shit neither I believe each culture that's here, each race, culture, whatever you want to call it, that's here was placed here by the Most High. Not genetically modified and, and that, that whole storyline. No, I don't believe that. I really don't believe, I mean, I I half believe black people was the so-called original peoples. And I don't, and that shit is hard for me to believe too because it's state of our people now. So, yeah, I want to believe in what makes sense. I don't want to believe in fucking fairy tales and, sh and, and, and and narratives out of a book that sound like a fairy tale. That shit sound like what black black men want them to be. That's what it sound like. It don't sound like what, what, what happened. Because how... You know why I say that? Because the descendants of the king and queen and shit of Europe still there. They still doing that shit. The, the the kings and queens or whatever they call them people in China, them people still there. You know, the African nations and their people, they still there. So why did us here lose power? If we was original people all over the world, if it was only black people here, which just sounds stupid, but it was only black people here all over the world, white people was genetically modified, none of that shit makes sense. It don't make sense. That out of the cave shit don't make sense neither. All of that shit came from out of a black man's mouth. It all came from a black man's mouth, and that's why I can't trust the words that come out of black man's mouth. I go and read, I'll listen to videos and shit. If they got book references, I'll go and purchase the book and read it for myself and get my own understanding of it. Because we all know that black men, when they, they're reading and comprehension, is not the same as ours. So, I would like to read a lot of this information for myself that this man has posted in his video. Because, like I say, he couldn't even acknowledge the fact that the tribe was the reason of the downfall. How the fuck you gonna blame Colin? Like, that shit... <laughs> that shit is crazy to me. I'm listening and listening to this man literally blame an outside force for the reason your people sold and gave up their land. That nigga, he couldn't even acknowledge the fact that the Indians were selling their land to the colonists. He couldn't even mention that. This nigga, the whole time, he's still blaming somebody else. Blame, 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 except for who the fuck the blame belongs to, and that's on our fucking ancestors. We the descendants of the motherfuckers. They the ones to blame for whatever reason they sat by and watched this shit happen when they had prophecies knowing that this shit was happening. How you gonna have a prophecy that this shit is gonna happen and you still let it happen?
All of these prophecies that was made, all of these predictions and all of this shit, these people knew. These people in America knew what was going to happen and they still let it happen. They took no precautionary measures. Or if they did, they didn't work. They were straightened with the colonists for weapons and shit. So according to history, in the 15 and 1400s, our ancestors had guns. So we, we about to put this whole bow and arrow shit to rest, okay? Because our ancestors had guns, so it wasn't, a, it wasn't a fucking bow and arrow fight to a gunfight. We not about to do that. We about, not, <laughs> we about to not sit over here and do that. That's what we not about to do. Because they had guns. They was already trading with the colonists already. Who knows how long they was trading with these people. Because they, they had to know that some of the layout of the land, they just ain't show up here. They just ain't show up here and had no knowledge of what the fuck was going on here. They were already back and forth, back and forth trading. They already seen that our people had gold and, and, and uh, corn and, and horses and whatever else the fuck we had over here. We already had it over here. They already seen the wealth and shit that we had in this nation already. Because they was coming back and forth already trading. They done found coins and shit from that time period that shouldn't even be where they at. Because of all the trading that was going on. So they knew we was here. They knew what we had. Our ancestors was been trading with these niggas. We already had guns and weapons and shit. So how was they able to come and take our land? How was Napoleon and whoever come to claim massive, massive purchase of our land? I don't know. I don't think they purchased it. I think they just came over here and said, look, I want the land from Montana to Louisiana. And now we're going to call it the Louisiana Purchase. I want the colonies from Maine to Florida. That's going to be a, a, a British colony. And I forgot what the fuck was going on, on the, all the way on the West Coast uh, uh, up, uh, over there. I don't, they don't really talk too much about what was going on over there. They make it seem like it was nothing, nobody was there, but our people was over there too. But they try to make it seem like we wasn't and we didn't know shit and we know what we was talking about. None of that. They they didn't put that. They, they really uh, hide a lot of that history that went on in the West, in the West part of the United States and just chop it up on un as unknown territory <clears throat> unknown territory when people was uh, was there somebody please tell me how that how that worked i was supposed to bend in the house this video long i'm gonna get off here because we're going to the house i'm hungry Grab maybe some breakfast smoke a blunt and do what i do so yeah like, comment, and subscribe. Don't you hate when you put the fucking Carmax on and shit? It look like it on camera, like I got that shit right here. But when I wipe my mouth, I don't see no white stuff. Whatever. I'm going in the house. Do y'all enjoy the rest of your day? Like, comment, and subscribe. Bring your ass back to my tribe. I love y'all. Um, don't be a nigga statistic. Um... Yeah.